My name is uh, Chris Stimson. Uh, I'm a research fellow on the Sundasia project uh, based at Queen's University, Belfast, and uh, I'm here at the Natural History Museum in Oxford uh, I'm looking at the reference material. Uh, the main time period that we're working on and that we've recovered uh, materials from uh, is a late Pleistocene, so from um, about 26,000 years uh, before present uh, until 11.6 thousand years before present, which is when we uh, transitioned geologically into the Holocene. Museum reference collections like the collections they have here in Oxford are absolutely essential. Because we're working with exploited animal remains from archaeological sites, it's very rare we recover a complete bone, let alone a complete skeleton. The reality of recovering bones from midden deposits is you have lots and lots of smashed fragments because the carcasses uh, of animals were quite heavily exploited. You can be quite limited in terms of the diagnostic material you have left over. So here we have a, for example, it's a carpal from a relatively small species of deer. You're looking at uh, fragmentary remains, so it's absolutely essential that you have uh, comprehensive reference material. To so give you an example, um, we have a uh, upper third premolar uh, from a species of large cat. Um, and uh, utilising the um, reference materials, also we have a leopard here and a tiger. Um, but again, it's important to have, if possible, multiple specimens. Uh, so here we have um, a modern uh, skull of uh, Hog Badger from the collections Natural History Museum, Oxford. And here we have a fragment, uh, probably about 12,000 years old, of um, maxilla of a jaw, if you like, uh, from a Hog Badger in one of our case sites in Vietnam. Up until relatively recently, regarded as a very, very common occurrence. In terms of the archaeological remains that we're recovering from Trang An and in our cave sites, it's quite clear that this particular species has been present, has also been exploited on a consistent basis. We have it presented all the way through our record. And if you start to look at the wider regional archaeological record, it tells a similar tale. They're very, very common species found in archaeological deposits and all over Southeast Asia, which throws into sharp contrast the very, very recent decline in absolute numbers, contraction in, in range in Southeast Asia, the species experienced in the last two decades. collections of, uh, like, like these are absolutely essential, otherwise I wouldn't be able to identify the remains. 